Hey everyone, it's Turbo Time Part 2. Um, we're going to go ahead now and fit the stick to the uh, Make Flash Arcade Fight Stick F300. Uh, in the last video, in Part 1, we, we fitted the eight buttons uh, on the front there um, and we didn't replace the start button. I don't think that that's really too, uh, too critical because it's not really going to get mashed that often. Um, it's a smaller button as well, which uh, you, you may want to investigate when you get it, if you decide to, to change that over. Okay, so next, I could easily make a big problem for myself here, but I'm guessing that this, this stick unscrews somehow. Um, I've never took one of these apart before, so maybe if I have a look at the one that is going to replace it, that might give me a clue as to how to approach this. But I'm not too bothered about breaking that stick. Um, but at the end of the day, it did seem to function okay. So I don't really want to want to break it just in case there's something wrong with this, maybe. Or okay, so let me have a look here. Well, oh, feels a little bit stiffer. Clicky's a bit nicer as well. A bit, bit sharper, maybe a bit bit louder maybe okay so how are we going to go about this well the thing to note that um, I was told um, by a nice chap who I'll credit in the, um, the description if I remember to if I don't I'm very sorry um, I was told um, in his blog that I needed to order this and I'm guessing that's because the existing cable um, doesn't fit into this Hmm, that's good. Which way round? Which way round? Hmm. Yeah, which way round? Indeed. Um, well, looks to me like... No, maybe. I guess you could argue that it doesn't matter as long as I get it the same way on the other side, whichever way that should be, but that's... That's another question, uh, which I don't have an answer to. Um, the gate, the gates, uh, it looks like the same gate, so a rounded square, um, which is exactly the same as the, the gate that's in here. Um, in fact, you know what, it doesn't look too different at all. I'm starting to think that, is it worth swapping it out after all? Um, okay, well, so let's go ahead and try and do it anyway. Um, the worst that can happen is I can break it. So I've been given two, not one, but two of these kind of covers that goes um, around the stick. Um, and one of these arcade stick knobs. Um, I'd describe it as somewhere between red and, and an orange, really. It's, it really isn't a, a kind of a, a strong, true red. It's, it's definitely off red uh, and more of an orange. So I'll just compare this to the button. You can kind of see the difference there. You've got more of a, a pure red here. Um, and, then, and then there you've got something... It's kind of got a little bit of orange in there, but it still looks quite nice. Now, from the look of this, it's a it's it's a screw. It's got a thread inside there, so that's going to lead me to see if I can pull and unscrew in some way. It does come off? I think it's moving. Maybe it's not. Pull it a bit harder. No. So this may be a this may be a failure, or maybe I need to. When I'm doing that, maybe that's turning there, yeah. So screwdriver there. Huh, that seems to have done it. I can feel I've got hold of the the knob at the, on the other side, and it appears to be moving for sure. So what we can see is it's coming off cleanly. 
So all I were doing was just rotating the stick around. Um, obviously now we've taken it off. So I think before we go all the way and, and change the stick over, let's just get a, an idea of, of what this is going to look like with the, with the replacement on there. So I won't tighten it up all the way, but that, that's, that's kind of what it's going to look like um, when it's finished. So let's let's go ahead and actually do the, the technical part, which is to replace the um, the actual stick now in its entirety. So crosshead again. The only time I haven't needed a crosshead was to remove the the knob from from it. Just looking at the difference between these. Oh, there's a slight difference, but nothing nothing major. I'll use a new one. Okay, so. I'm going to remove that was the um, kind of the plastics around the old one. So I'm going to remove um, all four of these screws, and then one by one, I will swap over the the white um, cables that connect it to the to the main board. These screws are different to the ones that go in the case. They've kind of got this uh, wider head around them. Or at least, if not a wider head, like an inbuilt washer. But I'm sure there's a technical uh, description of these. But, uh, I'll bring it up to the camera just, just so you can see. But So it's uh, something like that. Fingers crossed that focused. Um, I haven't done many videos on my phone at all, so I can't say exactly how good this um, this iPhone camera is that I use to to record on. So that's the third one out, and I'll just get the fourth one now, and then focus on replacing. Now, interesting, it's just coming out, so I'll, I'll try and keep it orientated in the right place, but interesting, why did, uh, why did I order this then? Because if I'm right, if I am right, then it's, it's just going to simply be a case of connecting the, the two um, cables to each of the micro switches. Um, now obviously um, I was going to ask which one's up, which one's down, but I guess it really doesn't matter. Obviously, you know, do I mount it that way or do I mount it that way? But as long as I, I kind of replace the cables from the right place, then I, I think it, it won't matter at all. Um, Again, uh, to sandwich around the outside of this kind of plastic, clear plastic gate. Um, I think sandwich is on other parts of it as well. So these are these are genuine sandwich parts, which at least should give me some reassurance that um, you know I'm getting my money's worth. Looking at these parts, um, maybe not so much. I can't see sandwich anywhere on them. Um, Okay, so just one at a time now. Ah. ah. Okay, so I have seen a problem. And the problem is that these are not clipped on, unlike I thought they were. Um, and not having a soldering iron in the house, shock horror. Um, I'm not going to be able to, um, to replace them. So it's kind of a good job that I didn't butcher this because as it stands right now, these connect to uh, separate two kind of two pin uh, cables into the board. I'll just kind of hold this up. So there's um, a row here, uh, two, two, two and two that break off and go to these soldered on points on the stick. 
So in order to actually um, do a full replacement, I'd have to basically desold, cut them or desolder them, um, and then basically um, put a clip, put a clip on the end of these cables, and then attach uh, attach them onto here. Um, I can't see why anyone would would just solder them directly, apart from apart from cheapness, laziness, or, or something. But it's uh, it's not great. Okay, so that's uh, that's unfortunately going to be um, the end of part two. Um, while I decide exactly where we go next, but I mean they haven't even removed the the kind of plastic off off the metal uh, surround there. So what to do? I'm going to have to consider this and, and basically make a part three. So I'm going to call it a day for now. I think we're running out of time on this, but. Um, I could just replace the knob, <laughs> that's one way, but obviously I don't get the nice sandwich switches. So let's have a look and see where we go from here.